Now I'm going to show you how to type Chinese characters using Google Translate. So first you open Internet Explorer or Google Chrome and type in translate.google.com. You will have interface like this. Go to Detect Language drop down and select Chinese. There was a small icon close to the speaker which is Ping meaning Chinese Pinyin. So select that one, select the first one. Now you are in the Pinyin mode ready for typing Chinese characters. Let's go. Is there any strategies to type Chinese characters using Pinyin? Yes. Generally, the strategy is type initials combination. Pinyin is a phonetic system Chinese borrowed from Western language to represent the pronunciation of Chinese. The first one is called initial and the part after that is called final. Initial is always typed first. So then you can check the list to see whether the character appeared in the list. If it appeared, you are lucky, you just choose it. Let's type, for example, wo, w o i w o. If you just type w, wait, doesn't work? Let me see. Chinese, let's see. W, okay, I got it. So if you type wo, you will see o is the first one. You can either type one or hit the space key, which is a default. I hit the space key, then I got a wo. So I only need to type initial. I got the letter. But sometimes it's not that easy because the list is a long one. There are many characters share the same pronunciation. For example, if you type M, I want to type Mei Guo, USA. Mei meaning beautiful. How do I type Mei? If I just type M, it doesn't work because you can see the list doesn't have that character Mei. Right now you can do two things. Either you can just click this drop down and search from the list. You can see I searched twice. I got it. The second one is me. So I type two. Or in other way, you can just type pinyin M E I. Now you got it. The first one is exactly the one. So you just hit the space key, which is default. You got it. So that is how to type one character using initial. A special remark. In Chinese pinyin, we have a special character called yu, uh, which is two dots on top of u. This letter is special. We don't have it in the keyboard. You can just type V to represent it because Chinese character doesn't have V sound. For example, Nu meaning female or woman. You can just type N V. It is here. Nu. Also note after special character Yu. If the first initial is J, pronounced as G, then you don't need to type J with V. Instead, it is J with U. It is still use U because U here means U. So J U, for example, the first one is G. Even though it is U, you just type U. Okay, let's type word. This is the single character. Let's type word. Let's clear this section. A word, two characters or more characters, which has a specific meaning and used as a whole thing. In modern Chinese, we created a lot of words. For example, 我们 meaning we, us, 你们, you. You don't need to type all the pinyin. It is very efficient if you just type its initials of each character. For example, 我们, you, you don't need to type W O M E N. You just type W M. Then you will see woman is exactly the first one because that is the most frequent one. So you just type hit space key. You got woman. Let's try another one. For example, I want to type 休息, meaning rest. 休息. Its pinyin is X I U X I. 
But if you type XX, let's see whether we can find it in the list. XX. Nope. So the first one is Xue Xiao. Second one, Xiang Xing. Third one, Xue Xi. Fourth one, Xie Xie. Fifth one, Xing Xi. Doesn't matter. There are two ways to go. The first one is just like you type one character, you do the drop down. The next step, oh, you got it. The first one is the one. So you can just go down, go type it. Uh, there's another way to do that. You can do it. Uh, let's try it again. Show she. Okay, this is kind of a tricky because go where you're smart. When you uh, try the first time, uh, next time it will give you a hint. And it learned from my typing, it will appear in the first place. So my demo fails. So I cannot give you another example. Let's say uh, I want to find Xiang Xing. The Xiang Xing belief is the character I want to type. Uh, its initial is XX. But it doesn't appear in this list. What should I do? Uh, another way to do that is if you know at least one of the pinyin, for example, Xiang Xing. Uh, Xiang Xing. Xiang might be complicated, but I, let's say we do X I A N G X. Xiang Xing. Now you can see the second one is Xiang Xing. Okay, second one. You got it. Or you can do uh, the other way. For example, Xiang Xing. You leave the first one as X, the next one as Xing. Let's say X, X. I N. Now you can see it also appeared. Both way worked. Uh, typing initials for words are especially efficient. Uh, sometimes when you type one character, it is very hard to find because there are so many characters share the same sound. For example, if you want to type yi zi, the yi meaning chair. Yi ting is Y I. Let's type Y I. You know what? There are hundreds of characters which has the same pinyin Y I. So from here, you can do the old way. Just click the uh, down button. So I cannot see it from this uh, demo. Let me let me let me do another way. Let me close that. Let me. Okay, save some space. Okay, Yi Y-I. Now you can see the drop down list. I go down, I did not find that because Yi has radical Mu in the left. Okay, I cannot find it, cannot find it, cannot find it, cannot find it. Remember what I said? There are hundreds of characters which have the same sound Y-I. So it's almost like uh, impossible. Oh, I can find it. It's a fifth one. Okay, find it. Okay, so that's kind of uh, tricky because sometimes you take a long time to find that character. Instead of uh, doing this way, there is another way to do that, which is using the word to type character. Then erase the redundant word. For example, if I want to type yi, I can think a word containing yi, for example, yi zi, let's say, y i z i, yi zi. The first one is exactly the one, so I type, hit the space key, then erase zi. I've got yi, is that cool, right? Another example, fan yi, translate meaning fan yi. Let's say I want to find yi, which is the same sound as y i. Y I. Now the only way we can do here is you go down, arrow, one arrow, twice, third time, fourth time, fifth time, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, find E. I still cannot find it. Uh, cannot find it. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, just cannot find it. Find e. Okay, let's do another way. Let's try use find e. F a n y i. Find e. Did 
Did you see that? Fan Yi. Uh, then I remove this e, fan. I got Fan Yi. See, that's a tricky way, right? And that's the only way sometimes to find a character, to type a character. So remember that this implies if you know more words, then you are capable of doing big things like typing any character. Let's try more words. So remarks. Uh, this is especially effective for Chinese idioms, which are mostly for characters. For example, 人山人海. If you just type R S R H, got it. Try that one. 人山人海. See? 人山人海. That's the first one. It's so cool. It's even faster than the professional one used, which is called 无比自行. That's why it is more popular today. Let's try another one. Canada, 加拿大. Okay, 加拿大. Isn't that cool? You got 加拿大. I don't even need to know what is 加, what is 拿, what is 大. 加拿大. First name, Richard, which is, in Chinese, 理查德. 理查德. See? LCD, no, we don't, we don't want LCD here. The second one is 理查德, is a Richard, right? Okay, this year is 2016. This year we have Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. They are going to run for the next president of the United States. Who is going to win? I can type Hillary Clinton. A Hillary Clinton's name here using initials. So let me try that. So she. La Li Ke Ling Dun. My God, I got it. I got Xi La Li Ke Ling Dun. Of course, you can try Donald Trump, but I'm not going to hear because I don't know whether he's going to win. That sounds like a fantastic, right? Uh, actually, uh, there are more, even more. Uh, typing initials for words are effective. Sometimes it's even effective for simple sentences. What do you mean simple? A simple meaning uh, s like four, five, six, seven characters. Uh, some um, some sentence you often say in daily life. For example, 你吃了吗? 你睡了吗? 你怎么了? 你上学去吗? 等等等等. Uh, let's try something. Okay. For example, 你怎么了? What's wrong with you? 你怎么了? Let's try that small sentence. 你怎么了? See, that, not bad. I say 你怎么了? But this one gives me 你怎么了? Not bad. I mean, you can change that. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, for example, you're busy. I'm asking. 你在, what are you busy? What are you busy with? 你在忙什么呢? 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 How cool is that? 你在忙什么呢? I got all the sentences just with initials of each character. 你在忙什么呢? 我在typing. I'm typing. Okay. Uh, one thing you need to know is when you type word J I N A N. Now you can see this J I can mean one character. N A N can also mean another character. You think about the other way. J I N can mean one character, and A N can mean another character. So in this case, it's vague. One thing to uh, tell the difference is you add a apostrophe. For example, if I want to find uh, J I N A N, not the first one. The first one is G nine, which is the capital of Shandong province. So if I want to find uh, Jing An, so I type J I N with apostrophe, then A. N. Now you can see it's totally different. So apostrophe 
separate confusing characters. That's very important to know that. Okay, this is the demo of how to type Chinese characters using Google Translate.